Доброе утро, дорогие друзья. Я прошу подняться на сцену участников церемонии открытия конференции TLDCon. Good morning, dear friends. Please take the stage at the TLDCon opening ceremony. Pavel Nikolaevich Tukach, first deputy minister of communications and informatization of the Republic of Belarus. Sergei Prokopov, Belarusian cloud technologies. So is Sergei Povolishev, Kosterbai. Dear friends, please, you can go to the center, in the center. Please take seats in the hall, and we begin our conference. The conference is being held for the 17th time, as we said yesterday, within the framework of the Zero Day. For the first time on Belarusian soil, although it was planned for 2021, the coronavirus pandemic has... We had to postpone our coming here. Our hosts are host why this year. Thank you very much, colleagues, for helping us to organize this event. And uh, also thank you very much for the yesterday's uh, evening reception. Uh, so you are the largest I can accredit at the registrar in uh, uh, Belarus. Again, thank you so much. This year we're celebrating four um, anniversaries of the national domains and uh, the representatives of all the um, anniversaries uh registries are present here the conference all four of them and tonight we will be raising glasses uh, for the to the development of the registries here on the 7th of april this year the dot ru celebrates 30 years on the 5th of may we celebrated the 30 years of dot by in august only recently dot am celebrated 30 years and uh, in september we are on the verge of celebrating the uh, 30 years of the dot kz the kazakhstan uh, cctlt and uh, uh, it is our tradition to give the floor uh, to uh, the uh, hosts uh, at the start of the conference and it's my pleasure to pass the floor to pilot Kutch, first deputy minister of communications and the informatization of the republic of belarus over to you sir the organizers and participants of the conference, welcome to the 17th uh, International Conference for CCTLD Registries and Registrars of CIS Central and Eastern Europe. It is our pleasure to welcome you here in Minsk. The professional community has gathered here to discuss professional issues related to uh, top-level domains developments. The DNS is the foundation of the World Wide Web and the challenges it uh, faces and uh, uh, various issues cannot be uh, limited if we want to find a solution to just one state. For uh, registries dot uh, ru dot by am and dot kz are celebrating 30 years of the operations a long journey has uh, been covered uh, through um, mutual cooperation and experience exchange between our countries the dot by and dot ru are working together on a universal acceptance of cyrillic uh, domain names interoperability of cyrillic domain names uh, are uh, are uh, gaining uh, popularity among the users. And it's very important to actually provide support to national languages online. Uh, culture can be preserved this way and internet can be made accessible to more people. Implementing national domains and localized content enables users from different regions to feel comfortable in the digital space and to uh, preserve their cultural identity. The infrastructure of the internet also needs to be developed uh, in order to secure the users online, in order to protect intellectual property and cooperation in these areas is already uh, yielding tangible results. Uh, in terms of Belarus uh, data, 91.5% uh, of the Belarus population uses uh, internet uh, in Belarus. Uh, more than 103% is the penetration of mobile internet in Belarus. The average traffic consumed is roughly 200 gigabytes uh, in the desktop versions and about 10 gigabytes in the mobile version of the internet. 
the partner relations between our countries and organizing this conference plays an important role in developing the uh, common strategy uh, for the development of the internet. We can pursue the development of national domains jointly. We can, again, maintain the cultural uh, diversity and uh, um, we can ensure the security of the users only uh, by pushing uh, jointly uh, towards the same goal. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Tukach has uh, emphasized that we have been working for many years uh, hand by hand, and uh, only uh, yesterday we held a meeting of the Regional Universal Acceptance uh, Group uh, for internationalized domain names for the IDNs. Uh, from the very beginning, the representatives of the uh, uh, that RU uh, and that BBY uh, registries and registrars have been the key drivers and initiators uh, of uh, uh, the whole initiative. Host RBY initiated that bill, uh, Domain Emergence. Uh, this group is or actually this task force is working not only on cyrillic domains, but that AM, for instance, this domain name uses its own script, uh, but uh, they are members of our regional group and they make an important contact contribution uh, to implementation of our joint strategy. And, and even those registries have joined us that uh, have not been too active uh, recently in the implementing ideas. But for the first time in Tildikan history, Evgeny Golodov is here. He represents the Kyrgyzstan uh, CCTLD, which is wonderful. And thank you very much for joining us uh, at the regional uh, working group. ICANN uh, has always um, uh, held high views of our regional group. We are one of the most active in the world. In Asia Pacific, uh, you find uh, a lot of active contributors to the uh, betterment of the internet. Yesterday, we also met with the students of the higher education facility or uh, uh, higher education institution that um, are uh, studying these problems. We want to thank the representative of ICANN, now a region who made a, uh, a, 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 a well, who read a lecture to, to the, well, well, who, who spoke to the students yesterday. It's wonderful to see young people interested in the development of uh, the um, addressing space of um, uh, solving various issues in the internet. It's wonderful that uh, 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 there are people now growing up who will succeed us. Uh, Hoster BY was one of the initiative, initiators of the um, that bill, uh, Domain Name Emergence. Now I want to give the floor to Mr. Povalishev, who is the uh, who is the uh, Uh, di director of uh, that bill. I'm oh, sorry, of host BY. Well, uh, good morning, uh, dear friends. Uh, good to see you um, today and uh, welcome on behalf of host BY, on behalf of our host. Uh, welcome to TLT Khan. I have always dreamt of opening this uh, event. It's one of the uh, major activities in the region, and it's our honor uh, to bring here together uh, uh, people from different regions. And what brings us together is, uh, well, I guess it's people, people. Yeah, well, it's people, uh, but um, uh, there is also a wonderful weather that accompanies these events wherever they are held. But uh, you're absolutely correct. Um, what brings us together is people, the professionals. This is how we build processes in the domain industry. And uh, because of, uh, these, of the people, this uh, event is made possible. It is... Uh, I'm really sorry that not all representatives of the domain industry could come to Minsk uh, for uh, reasons that are well known to everyone. It's a pity that we'll not be able to share the hospitality of the Belarus people with everyone uh, in our community. But now uh, let me uh, brief you quickly about host BY. Uh, this is who we are. In the last 10 years, we acted as the technical administrator of .by and .bell. And uh, we contributed our best uh, years, the best years of our lives, to these two domain areas. That build that by. 
Today, we are the largest uh, registrar of um, domains and pro uh, provider of virtually all kinds of uh, hosting, cloud hosting, virtual hosting, various uh, hybrid uh, hosting formats. We are the, the only I can accredit uh, registrar uh, for international domain names. And uh, uh, this year, we became the first uh, attested or accredited commercial cybersecurity center, NSOC, a security operations center. Uh, about 150 people work at uh, Hoster BY, and thanks to uh, their work, uh, our uh, organization is thriving. I will be sharing with you some of the slides uh, to give you an idea of uh, the current status of the domain industry in Belarus. This is the share of new registrations this year in Belarus. We analyze the domains that our customers buy, and for the first time, that are you uh, reached the third place, getting ahead of that calm. So on a global level, if you uh, obviously uh, consider the whole database of uh, registrations.com is stable in the third place, but in terms of new registrations, that are you is getting ahead of .com. We understand uh, that this is happening because of uh, many businesses not having any other choice really at the moment, and many of the businesses have reoriented themselves towards the Russian market and we can see that dynamics in the statistics. As to hosting, some time ago we organized a research. On this slide I'm showing now the most popular um, CMSs in Belarus. WordPress is uh, firmly in the first place, Bitrix is in the second place, Tilde is in the third place. In Russia, actually, Tilde is in the second place. Andre, what will be your explanation for this graph? Why uh, Bitrix is in the second place in Belarus and not Tilde? Well, uh, local Bitrix partners are very active, it's true, but in Belarus, Bitrix seems to be the most popular commercial CMS. And no, Bitrix does not sponsor this presentation. Uh, Ten years ago, we launched Dot Bell. This is my favorite domain names. I'm listing it now on the slide. I love it. Andre, will you be able to read the domain name um, shown here? Because, I mean, we position Cyrillic domains as being very uh, easy uh, to read. Well, it says welding rod electric gas fired small industries. Dot Bell. Well, I almost made it. That bill, uh, I hope, uh, is still the uh, second largest in the world in terms of the registered IDNs. And what we are proud of is on the first day of registration, we registered more than 3,500 domains. So uh, we set a kind of a record in the first 12 hours of registrations opening. Something to uh, remember when we all retire, something to uh, and, you know, to, to ponder on. Uh, there is still a lot of interest to .by and to, to .bl as well. Uh, well, on the streets of Minsk, you see uh, .bl advertised everywhere. I mean, companies, uh, uh, businesses, they use .bl very, very actively. As I was saying, in the last 10 years, we acted as the technical administrator this year. On the 5th of May, we celebrated 30 years of .by. We are very happy that through our effort, .by um, uh, is uh, now being run based on international standards. In 2013-2014, uh, .by was the first uh, fastest growing European uh, domain names, and it's uh, probably, uh, well, we, 
we are not the only ones who are responsible for that, but there were other factors at play, like the overall economic situation and the fast um, rate of growth of small and medium businesses. But around 2013, 2014, among all European uh, domain uh, areas, that BY was uh, holding first place in terms of the rate of growth. In this very room, 10 years ago we uh, held well it was not in this room actually it was uh, in the room next door anyway uh, uh, we uh, 10 years ago we organized the minsk uh, internet week we held the eastern european dns forum and the enog uh, conference that was organized by ripe and cc minsk uh, used to be a center of international cooperation in the domain space and the representatives of uh, ICANN, RIPE, and major industry uh, organizations from the technical community, from the business community, they all um, discussed the prospects of the internet and to our great dismay, Oleg Levchenko will never join us again, the director of .ua and from Hostmaster uh, company will never uh, be with us uh, anymore, but um, I hope very much that regardless of the current circumstances, uh, countries will continue to share their unique experience and international cooperation will not stop. We will be meeting again and again, and together we will be uh, taking the domain industry to new heights. And this is the last slide in the stack. In my stack, on the 3rd of December in Minsk, we will be organizing the Belarus IGF 2024. The forum will be held with the support of B Cloud and with participation of the program committee. We are already preparing uh, something enormous, something grand. Uh, we will be very happy to see all of you attending this event. You will be impressed, I promise that. I uh, hope very much that next couple of days will be very productive. So listen carefully to all the speakers, ask your questions, and be active in general. Thank you. Well, here is what I need to say. The Belarus IGF uh, took a break for, for a couple of years. It was a short break, really. Uh, last year, we came uh, to this conference. I remember a full uh, room uh, at uh, the Marriott. I mean, it was filled with people. Not sure if that many people would have attended a uh, Russian IGF. Uh, we talked about international cooperation. We talked about uh, the importance of national IGFs. And even though here we are gathered in a rather uh, tight uh, professional community, still it tells me that international cooperation is still uh, happening. Are you going to have a youth IGF this year? Yes, uh, of course, there will be a youth IGF. Uh, we will be organizing it in a new format. Uh, we will be um, doing it in the format of a quiz uh, or a kind of a brainstorm. Uh, it will be a kind of a competition. Um, the, the, this It will be a new format that will be implementing. Oh, a new format. How wonderful. Well, we will have to learn from you. We'll have to respond with something exciting as well, because uh, really, if we want to engage the younger generation, we need to become more interactive. And um, uh, what we share in common, uh, apart from uh, the same field of operations, really, in Russia and in Belarus, the registry is split. There is the administrator of the national domain. In Russia, it's the coordination center. And in Belarus, it's known as the analytical center attached to the office of the president of Belarus. And then there is also the technical operator, the technical administrator. In Russia, it is TCI, TCI net, the technical uh, center of internet, the general partner of TLDCon. While in Bel Belarus, it's B Cloud. It's a business that's uh, called B Cloud. It's a pleasure for me to pass the floor to Mr. Prokopov, Sergei Prokopov. He is the director of Belarus Cloud Technologies, or B Cloud, and he is representing the technical uh, side of uh, that bill and that BY. 
Colleagues, good morning and uh, welcome to the land of Belarus. This year, we are celebrating the anniversary, uh, the 30 years of the national domain uh, zone and our company uh, dedicated a series of events uh, to uh, this important date. Uh, we produced a quick video um, describing the history of uh, Binet. And before I discuss the current situation in the national uh, domain zone, The cloud обладает отличной технической базой и опытным персоналом. Компания была оказана высокое доверие со стороны государства. The cloud является уникальной компанией, способной реализовывать проекты практически любого уровня сложности с использованием КТ технологий. Мы думаем именно Биклауд является техническим партнером ICANN. ICANN – это общественная неконечная организация, которая обеспечивает регуляторику, безопасность и администрирование глобального распределения доменных имен в мире. Для этого интернет, в принципе, невозможен. В 2019 году Биклауд стал регистратором доменов в зонах Байбел. У нас уже была развитая сеть передачи данных по всей стране, надежный технологичный дата-центр уровня Тайр-3, республиканская облачная платформа у специалистов команды. Команда Биклауд расширен пол компетенции в сфере оказания услуг В 2022 году Биклауд стал новым техническим администратором национальной доменной зоны. Мы очень сильно волновались и переживали. У нас был достаточно короткий промежуток времени, чтобы подготовиться и к 1 января 2022 года выполнить все необходимые планы. Это удалось благодаря тому, что на тот момент Биклауд был регистратором с самыми широкими техническими возможностями. Проект о администрировании национальной доменной зоны, он крайне крайне важен, крайне почетен, крайне ответственный. Технический администратор национальной домен. Да, это звучит гордо. Мы благодарны нашим коллегам и партнерам, которые создавали и сопровождали доменную зону до нас. А мы стараемся поддерживать те высокие стандарты для работы доменной зоны, ее развития, доступности. И будем применять любые новые практики для того, чтобы Республика Беларусь и наша доменная зона стремились быть лидирующими и популярными. И что делаем мы, как технический администратор национальной домены? Мы обеспечиваем введение реестра национальных доменных имен, обеспечиваем функционирование технической площадки в шести регионах мира, согласно рекомендации ICANN. Мы обеспечиваем защиту и безопасность функционирования доменной зоны. Основная задача технического администратора национальной доменной зоны в том, чтобы эта доменная зона была доступна. Помимо того, что она доступна нам здесь внутри Беларуса, доступна извне, для того, чтобы нас видел мир. Поэтому мы надежно обеспечиваем работу серверов доменной зоны, а также доступность сердца доменной зоны – это ее реестр. Наша работа, чтобы национальная доменная зона в мировом сообществе была узнаваема, была уважаема, она развивалась и брала лучшее от других регистратур и привносила в нашу национальность. При внедрении всех или иных новаций в доменной зоне мы всегда стараемся идти в ногу со временем. Планируем и дальше развивать сотрудничество с ICANN. Мы будем продолжать повышать престиж национальной доменной зоны. Мы будем сохранять и развивать историю Байнета. Такой официальный ролик у нас. So this is the, you, you, you can say that this is the official video um, of the presentation, uh, I'm sorry, of the company. And now I, I wanted to uh, share with you some uh, statistics that hopefully will demonstrate that we are indeed a reliable technical administrator of the national domain zone. Национальная доменная зона – это наименование собирательное. У нас... National domain zone is a compound uh, designation because we've got two, two domain, uh, domains, .by and .bl. .by was launched in 1994 and .bl was launched in 2014. 
the uh, analytical sense attached to the presidential office of the Republic of Belarus is the administrator of the national domain uh, zone, while B Cloud, the Belarus uh, Cloud Technologies company, is the technical administrator of the national domain zone. And we've got six accredited administrators or um, registrars uh, who administer domain names for the registrants. Как мы все любим, обычно впереди идет законодательная база. Uh, well, there is a lot of legislation uh, that uh, determines uh, the operations in the market, including the market of domain names. In 2010, the government paid special attention to the development of BuyNet, and this is when the president's decree was adopted uh, to improve the the usage of national segment of the internet, it uh, actually uh, regulated the development of uh, Belarus hosting, uh, Belarus content. Many of the resources around that time were uh, uh, were were not localized; they were uh, placed elsewhere. So it was important to bring these resources back to Belarus. In 2019, the concept of information security determined the priorities of uh, information sovereignty. And in 2023, the decree of the president on cybersecurity number 40 was adopted. And we, um, uh, we uh, Hoster BY is now the first SOC, as uh, our colleague has already described. And we are also, we also have the cybersecurity uh, competencies uh, it's very important that we help our customers to uh, keep uh, their data safe. And now let's turn to statistics. On these slides, you can see the numbers, uh, the number of domains registered by uh, companies and individuals uh, in the .bl and .by areas at the moment about 140,000 domains are registered out of the one, uh, 93,000 domains are registered within that by and about 53,000 uh, are registered within that bill oh, I'm sorry and uh, yeah uh, uh, and about uh, 93 thousand of them are they belong to uh, legal uh, entities to the companies and the rest uh, they're registered by individuals uh, at the moment uh, we see that the market is uh, recovering uh, there was uh, well a couple of years ago the market um, uh, was going uh, down, but now it's uh, recovering. About 90% of all domains are registered by the uh, residents of Belarus, be the companies or individuals, and only 10% are registered by foreigners. Uh, on this slide, you can see a curve, a trend that demonstrates uh, the uh, de development trend uh, in the internet in the country. This is how traffic is growing. Uh, it's growing at a rather explosive rate. And also you can see here the data on the number of resources registered. You can tell from the slide that from uh, 2016, uh, we've uh, uh, reached a certain uh, plateau. Uh, we, we reached a certain uh, level of saturation uh, one of the advantages of our domain area and of the registry is uh, uh, that our zone is almost free from phishing. All domains are uh, used uh, in, uh, conf uh, in, in accordance with uh, the uh, declared uh, purpose. And there are very few um, incidents uh, in this domain zone. The protocol is the same for everyone, uh, but uh, through the work of our registry, and Sergei has already spoken about this tradition, the charity, uh, the, the, the charity activities, we help uh, children, we help kids, and 
we um, uh, we transferred uh, about 244,000 Belarus rubles uh, to orphanages in the last couple of years and uh, more than 800,000 dollars uh, were uh, channeled into various charity projects uh, uh, over uh, several years of uh, uh, the uh, domain zone operations. We are supporting the digital development of the government. Uh, government authorities uh, can use the uh, state automated uh, information system in order to get data about uh, electronic services offered by the national domain zone. We are constantly uh, complementing the portfolio of the uh, electronic or digital services. Well, uh, this year, uh, cybersecurity uh, regulation was uh, reinforced. The registry implemented multi-factor um, identification, authentication of the registrants. Uh, whenever they are making any transactions with the domain records, we don't want passwords to be intercepted. We uh, don't want any uh, domain name abuse. The regulator also implemented the new procedure for the inheritance of the domains. Uh, there is still a lot of discussion around this new procedure, but now domains are perceived not just as a, a kind of a de designation. Uh, domains are seen as type of property that can be inherited. The regulation was also changed in order to add extra value, economic value uh, to the uh, businesses of self-employed persons and small companies. Uh, for instance, uh, now uh, there, is, there is a new uh, simplified procedure for transfer of domain names uh, or the rights to administer the domain names between businesses if these domain names are registered in the national uh, domain zone. Thank you very much. Uh, we make a uh, future happen faster together, and I will be very happy to take any of your questions at any time. Right, thank you very much. And uh, to close this presentation, I wanted to uh, go um, uh, quickly uh, through the .ru and .rf statistics. I prepared uh, just you know five slides. Uh, with the key numbers uh, last year, the year last year was quite successful in terms of dynamics. Uh, that RU added about 10 percent, and that RF added about 12 percent in just one year. Uh, well, several factors were at play, uh, including sanctions pressure. Um, the um, sanctions that pressured the uh, Russians who uh, held domain names in other domain zones and our registrars also did an excellent job, especially in the second half of the year. Reg.ru organized several marketing activities uh, that made a significant contribution into this tangible growth. We, are, uh, we have uh, reached a kind of a plateau, as a, a colleague uh, has already described, but I think that this plateau is observed everywhere in the world, and I can colleagues will probably be able to confirm that we know that the internet has gone through a very uh, turbulent period of development, a very fast uh, period of development. Uh, I'm not sure that we'll be looking at double-digit growth numbers anytime soon again. And uh, last uh, year, some registries said that they were growing 2% uh, a year, and they were very happy to share this kind of result. But this tells us that the market is saturated, and most likely we'll have to be working not with the new users, but rather with the customer base that we acquired earlier. These are the main numbers from .ru and .rf. 
And we are happy to say that after a break, um, well, hosting providers have lost interest to becoming accredited uh, registered at time, some time ago. But last year, this year, uh, several companies uh, got the status back, while two companies actually lost uh, uh, lost this um, status. One of the companies uh, uh, actually um, uh, surrendered the status voluntarily, while uh, a second company, it had to be uh, removed from the list of accredited uh, registrars uh, due to its uh, uh, improper behavior, let's put it this way. Uh, Bynet is uh, countering phishing very actively. Tomorrow there will be sections dedicated to this problem where we'll be able to exchange our experience, and hopefully we will be able to uh, confirm one day that uh, we have eradicated phishing uh, from .ru.rf. Well, uh, at the moment, it's still not true. We've got 12 competent organizations uh, that uh, make up the so-called domain pat uh, patrol, and we organize a special section on uh, uh, various illegal activities on how to counter them in the DNS. Another important project of ours is of educational and uh, uh, outreach uh, nature. Uh, we have implemented a program to uh, improve uh, the competences. It's a program of advanced training, really, uh, for tutors, for instructors, for the fifth time in uh, a row we organized an internet governance summer school uh, and for the last five years we have uh, uh, welcomed the representatives of belarus uh, during uh, this activity and of course we uh, work uh, with uh, uh, the users who want to improve their digital skills yeah, we wa want to promote the interest to the IT um, profession. Uh, and we have a special program uh, targeting children, and uh, not just school children, but also children who will even study in the orphanages. We want them to become IT specialists. Um, 30 years, indeed. We celebrated 30 years, not just that. Are you we want to thank the everyone who participated in the opening ceremony? Thank you very much for your um uh, presentations and now we are waiting uh well what will be well can you um we, we need our assistance to um guide our key speakers uh, to the 